Am I going to have any Chinese or Japanese or any other European results? Let's click on it. Here it goes. Uh, okay. Um, right. What does that mean? You know, since childhood, I always wondered why I'm here, where I'm from, and etc. And um, I've been told that my first forefather was a son-in-law of a royal family or something that was like more than 2000 years ago. It's quite a fascinating story. And um, through all those years, I wonder whether um, we, actually, we actually kept it to be Korean or whether there were a mixture of Japanese or Chinese and etc. And since I actually grew up as, you know, when I was childhood, I always wonder, I always had this sort of different look. That's how I, the impression I get comparing to my friends. As you can see, I got a rather bigger head, a um, bit wider shoulder, uh, and jaw is actually big as well, squarish and strong eyebrows. And I actually got a flat head that really actually stressed me out because when I actually have a haircut, that kind of shows if you see what I mean. So. Um, even my hairdresser thinks that I got a lot of Mongolian look. So uh, that does really make me wonder, am I truly 100% Korean or actually a bit of a mixture and so on. So what we have, uh, what I have here is the 23andMe testing kit that you've got to spit on it and send it across to, I think it's Netherlands and they will carry out the test and let you know. So I'm really, really excited about this. So let's get into the unboxing. Here it goes. Okay, so let's open this up. What do we have here then? It says hi, <laughs> very pink. And all the um, sort of how you can actually set it up. And we got this um, hygiene sort of thing. And oh gosh, this is how much of a spit that you gotta put in. And then once I close it, there's some liquid that will I think mix the whole thing together and then take this out and put to cover it with this lid and then I have to put it in this package and then send it back. So it's been a while and finally I've got my results and I'm actually on that page. Let's click on it, here it goes. Uh, okay. Uh, right, what does that mean? I got the whole Korean map on it. Um, no, uh, what? Okay, so I got Japanese and Korean 100%. What does that mean? Does that mean I'm 50? All oh, right, okay, so I'm <laughs> I'm 100% Korean. <laughs> what? How can one be a 100% Korean? That's almost like I never imagined that could ever Okay, so what, what happens if I click on the 100%? Strongest evidence is actually number one is Seoul. <laughs> so those who don't know the map of um, South Korea, the capital Seoul is where it's highlighted red, the reddish part, okay? Gyeongsangbukdo is where my father's, um, you know, forefather, basically the first person who started our family is, is started from. And Chungcheongnamdo is basically both of my parents when they met up and got married. All right, so I've been actually on a lengthy conversation with my mother just now, and she basically told me that her, you know, ancestors used to be settled in Seoul for a very long time, um, and then there were more than about 220 years ago, there has been a sort of like a bust up or some sort of like a fight that they had to run away uh, so that's how i think they managed to go down to the south uh, part of south korea which is chungcheongnamdo father's family started from the east to the west of the south korean region and then slightly north of chungcheongnamdo and my mother's family must have started from capital seoul and then slowly moved down to chungcheongnamdo and they both met Apparently, I got 100% Korean and z not detecting North Korea at all. So I'm 100% South Korean and the rest is 0, 0, 0, not even a 0.1% or 
any other things not detected. Here it goes, Caribbean, Mexico, South America, nothing at all. I actually have a strong uh, resemblance of a look from my mother's family. My uncles are, the, although um, they're very tall actually, uh, they could read, I think most of them were like more than 185 centimeters at least. I'm actually 170, 74, 75. So I'm actually the shortest one of my, both of my mother's and family's uh, generation side. But anyhow, what, what I'm trying to get at is that um, you're seeing someone of 100% pure Korean, pure. <laughs> and um, not only that, you're also seeing someone who's most likely how um, a soul, uh, original soul people would have looked like. That's very interesting. Um, it's a mind-blowing result actually. Um, slightly disappointing because I was hoping to have some bit of a mix. I was hoping some Chinese, um, but also some Japanese as well. But um, yeah, you're seeing someone who's 100% Korean. Basically, I'm the haplogroup L, started about 180,000 years ago. And this all started from Africa, people. And then it went into the Arabic country, uh, then slightly sort of like R. Uh, so it kind of like follows up with the story about the Bible um, in, in that side when, when you go to N and R and then they actually moved to B and then Korea apparently. So haplogroup L3, haplogroup N, R and, and um, there's a lot of these codes that I'm not familiar with. So it's a B5B. Um, so I'm one in 2000 of the customer who shared the haplogroup assignment. Okay, so that's very interesting. So there you go, people. Um, apparently, you're looking at someone who's 100% South Korean. No detection found on the North, so 100% South Korean and a highly concentration on the, the capital of Seoul. So if you want to find out, if, you, if you're wondering how someone who was based in Seoul many, many thousands of years ago looked like, you're actually looking at someone like me here, the closest resemblance, okay? So apparently you're supposed to have a bit of a wider jaw, uh, flat head and um, stronger eyebrow, I guess, and slightly um, losing hair in the front and the back, but not completely going bold, I think. Um, wider, wider shoulder, actually. Maybe I got this from my father. I'm sure there are some of the mixtures with my father, but I do look very much like my mother um, and, I do actually see a lot of resemblance with the looks with my mother's, so my uncles as well on my mother's side. But anyhow, I hope you find this video interesting. But if you have similar results, like 100% and also sole concentration of uh, DNA, um, please do contact me. It would be really interesting to know how you look like, how your family background is from and so on. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and thank you very much for watching for a very long, rather boring lecture of my family history. All the best. Bye-bye.